Every few weeks we do a showcase where we're letting everybody else on the team know what progress we're making on building an application on top of Holochain. The, the concept of this demonstration is a new person joins the Holochain uh, group and wants to start using our applications. So the first one here is that uh, organization heat map that we talked about last time, which is the idea of that is to kind of give some uh, feeling of where people are available and present. The Abundance of Presence application allows you to do meeting scheduling. So I want to schedule a meeting with you and with Philip in Australia and with Nico in Germany. And so how do I know when you guys are available so that it's easy for us to set up a meeting? And so we thought that's something that's a real problem that the team is having is trying to make sure because we're in so many different time zones that we can connect up. Okay, so uh, concept here is my first time using this. So if I want to go now and try and use the chat system with our funky new logos, thank you very much, see? And if I click on here, it's going to detect that I don't have a profile. It now takes me through to the profile page and asks me to fill this out. So and now when I go back to Holo Chat, it knows that I've got a profile and is now asking me to join a channel. So I can click on here. You can see we've got my nice little avatar, the name of me. And this is also a, a, a auto filtering list. So when you've got a big list, you can just start typing in here and it will filter like that. So I can select my name here and I'll click on here. And now I've got a channel, which means I can now go and start chatting, which will be kind of boring because it's to myself. But anyway, we can click in here and go, uh, let's do something like that. How about we build an awesome new picture. Uh, it's got enter and it's tidied it up a little bit more. So we could do something like this. So we saw those things and we're like, oh, this is easy to take the chat and connect it up so that if we're having a discussion, we set the meeting and then we come up with a task and we can easily click a button and send that over to the task management system. Okay. And it happens in this environment because the data is not locked into each of the applications. So normally you're in a very data centric world where the, the information that's locked into your chat application is very distinct from your project management software. And maybe we have some tiny little API connectors feeding between those things that have to make agreements. Where Holochain being agent centric allows like the data is about the conversation, not about the application. And so it's very easy to move that information from one thing to another. Um. So now we've got these chats and part of the, one of the big things we wanted to do was be able to reuse this information in uh, more interesting ways. So I can now turn this chat, which we want into an idea. So if I click on this little button here, it now turns it into an idea. It's taken the content of my, whatever I typed into here. And we've got a bunch of different things here. You can see that the reason it was turned into an idea is because it's had a whole lot of upvotes and people want to do something about this. And But I can't remember what it was about. So if I click this one here, this is the idea. This is this will give you like the history of the chat of where how we got to this point so that you've, you maintain that context. And I'm also thinking that this might be a good place to be able to add more conversation. So we can actually have a chat box in here as well. So I'm doing okay. Now, I really want to turn this into, um, into uh, a task to be managed in Errand, which is our, our Trello-like swim lane management system. And so if I click this one here, I've now got some options. So is this item that we're talking about just a single task, you know, just one thing that needs to be managed? Is it, does it warrant a group of tasks, such as, you know, does it need uh, some design? Does it need some coding? Does it need some testing? That kind of thing. So we can make these different groups. Or is it like an over, like a whole process? Like do we need a whole separate board with a whole bunch of tasks in it that need to get managed? For this one, we just need some design and some coding. So I'm gonna say add a feature group like this. So here we have it running in a browser, looks pretty nice. And if we go into Errand in here, 
<clears throat> we can see that we've now got our swim lane management system and this is the, these are the three items that were added in automatically. So you can see like, yeah, hi team, how about we build an awesome new feature? That's what happened in here. We need a sketch um, and the description of how things happen. And then as these items are managed or are done, we can drag those into different lanes and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the one last thing I wanted to show you was that the when we created that profile, which was this one here for HoloChat, it automatically created us a persona because we hadn't used it before. So we've got this one persona now for HoloChat with a few fields in it. We can reuse that information across multiple different profiles. And this information is stored on my personal DHT. So it's not shared, it's not like out in a great big DHT everywhere. Um, and I'm allowed to control who's allowed to see that. And uh, that is the demo.